This is Brent with Lankins Motorsports. And if you remember these from uh, one of the other videos that we did not too long ago, these are the AFR Renegade 185cc small block Ford heads for our 310 cubic inch uh, dyno mule coming up. So, uh, went over the highlights of this head last time. What we're gonna do this time is um, get these knocked apart. These are set up for a hydraulic roller camshaft. I think the advertised uh, spring rates from AFR are about 130 pounds on the seat. And um, I know that I posted the cam specs last time, but I have since ordered another camshaft. Um, I wanted to try something else different and uh, it's gonna be a lot more aggressive than, than the first one with a lot more lift. So we're gonna be, uh, obviously we need to change the valve springs anyway, but we need to check this out and, and see what we can come up with as far as a valve spring package that will work with um, our, our 700 lift cam that we have coming up. The challenge will be trying to find something to fit down in the spring pocket because these are very small uh, diameter springs and um, you know they're not going to be set up for your typical uh, the, the spring pocket is only about you know one five hundred or so so um, trying to cram a, a one five fifty or similar spring down in that pocket is going to be futile so we're going to have to do some creative thinking here. I'm going to get these heads knocked apart and uh, we'll we'll do some talking here in a minute. All right, so here's the valves that come with these heads. These things are really light. I'm going to have to weigh them here in a second. 202, 8 millimeter stem. Got a radius uh, groove, which is usually only found on your higher end valves. But um, exhaust side is a 1.6. Again, eight millimeter stem. Let's weigh these and see what they weigh. Intake valve, pretty light, 103 grams. Exhaust valve, nice, under 100. Lightweight parts, good stuff. I've got this one knocked apart. Uh, what I wanna do is check our install height with the retainer and locks that came with uh, the heads and then see what we have to work with. We're setting at about 1925 without a locator. So if we took um, 60 thousandths away from this, uh, that'd be, you know, how, you know how I am about doing quick math on videos. Um, what, about 1860 or so. Um, and then they had some shims underneath that. So I think, I'm thinking they're, they were concentrating on like a one 800 install height. So you can see how small this hole is. Um, it, my spring mic barely fits down in there. So I'm gonna have to look around and see what I've got to, uh, as far as valve springs goes to, uh, to use on this head. So I started digging around through uh, the, the spring, the various spring companies looking to see what's available in this small of a diameter. And um, mainly didn't have anything and comp didn't have anything, but uh, PAC Racing did have some valve springs that would fit in this pocket. And um, I looked at the number and it's a 1238X and I thought, man, that sounds awfully familiar. So, um, what I remembered is on my 352 Dino Mule uh, JJ, I used a 1238X spring. So it just so happens that I have some of the parts left over. Here's a valve spring locator from, from JJ. And uh, we're gonna be in the money there. And here's the valve springs from JJ. So looks like we're gonna be in the money there. Um, I do have some mainly uh, retainers so I can at least check uh, install height and um, spring pressures with this but this looks like a pretty viable option for for this the spring pressures are going to need to be about the same so uh, what I'm going to do 
is um, check some install heights with with these locators and locks and, and see what we're looking at as far as spring pressures. All right, I couldn't use the AFR locks, so I had to snag a set of um, manly locks off the shelf for a tendery retainer, which is what this is. But we are looking at an inch 860 on install height with no shims, just a locator uh, retainer locks. So let's look at uh, some valve spring pressures at 1860 and see what that does for us. All right, so at 1860, we're at 220 pounds, and that's not going to cut it. Um, I'd like to see something um, probably up above 250 to uh, to give me some warm and fuzzy feelings. Um, let's see what 1770 does. So 270 pound seat. Um, if we subtract our 700 lift cam from there, that would put us at an inch 070. Open height. One of these days I'm gonna learn that I need to bring my tripod over here when I'm filming valve spring pressure stuff. All right, so at an inch 070, we are at 690 pounds. I usually try to run um, a pound per foul of valve lift as a general rule of thumb. Um, these valves are really light. Um, so with a 700 lift cam, if you usually run 700 pounds of spring pressure, uh, this is pretty much I guess with well within the realm of, of feasibility and um, let's see where this coil binds a little tiny spring coil binds at 950 so what I may do is um, see what 50 or 60 from coil bind will get me and then check out the spring pressures for that all right so I'm thinking through this and um, I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be a cheap wad tight wad cheapskate whatever you want to call it I'm gonna reuse these valve springs this is gonna be my engine so if it comes apart um, it's nobody's fault except for me and it doesn't have to go anywhere so um, I did check the springs against what they measured when I bought them brand new to use with the 352. They have not lost any spring pressure. So, um, pack is a really good spring. The 352 is flogged and um, it was had a really rough life and these valve springs did wonderfully. So, um, what I'm gonna do since um, I'm working with these eight millimeter valve stems. I'm going to bypass these mainly titanium retainers and I'm gonna go buy the appropriate pack retainers and use some of their um, mini eight uh, valve locks and um, go with that combination. So until I'm able to measure the install heights with the actual retainer and locks that I'm gonna use, it's kind of pointless to go back and forth on, on what I'm going to do. So I need some actual numbers. But um, here's here's the spring package that, uh, that I'm going to be using. So everything fits really well. And works with these little tiny pockets on these AFR heads. Um, one thing I, else I'm going to do is I'm going to mill the deck surfaces. Uh, AFR says that the max that they'll... Uh, deemed comfortable with milling the decks is four cc's, which is about 25 thousandths. So I'm gonna cut 25 thousandths off and bring these 58 cc chambers down to 54. And then um, I can pour, pour the chamber with the valves and, and see where I'm gonna be um, with the pistons and everything that I have. 
so that's uh that's me walking through and um thinking out loud on on valve spring packages and such <clears throat> i didn't think about how small the pockets were until i got the heads out to look at them uh the 205 cc heads and and larger don't have this issue but um if you're wanting to run a solid roller cam on these then you don't really have that many options thankfully the um the rocker stud holes are 7 16 and um i'm i'm hoping the push rod holes are are opened up as well but uh that's what we're looking at so we're going to be um, hopefully getting the block machined in the next couple of weeks. And um, I can do some further mock-up. The new cam should be here in a week or so. And um, we'll be well on our way. So thanks for uh, sticking around and, and watching uh, the thought processes on this. And if you are new to the channel, um, I urge you to subscribe so you don't miss any new up-and-coming videos. And uh, if you like what you see, I encourage you to also hit the like button. Um, that helps everybody out. All right, guys, you have a good weekend. Um, it's 10 degrees here in Kentucky. I hope that uh, it's warmer where you are. Uh, if you're up north, probably not. We just got hit with a snowstorm yesterday. But um, hope you're safe and sound. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you next week.